Welcome back. The Humane Society of Southern Arizona strives to help the pets in our community and the people who love them. So when they received a plea for help, they packed up a big van and headed all the way to a small shelter in New Mexico. Andrea Mitchell is here to tell us about the story and why it was so special to her. Andrea, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. So you actually have a special guest with you today. Tell us who you brought. This is Stewie. He is a... <laughs> Uh, maybe like a one to three year old Yorkie Terrier mix of cuteness. He is so sweet. And um, Stewie is from New Mexico. And now the reason yes. he's here today, he's not yet um, adoptable, but he comes with the story that you're going to tell us. Yes, Stewie is truly a rescue dog. So we got from a volunteer in our community, um, she sent us over this plea for help from this small shelter in a community in New Mexico. And our COO, uh, Brandy Burt, came up to me. She's like, we're going to some tiny town. We're going to go help this shelter out. And I couldn't believe it when she told me we were going to the Valencia County Animal Shelter, which is in Los Lunas. New Mexico um, to just help out they were they were drowning in a situation that they couldn't control they weren't able to do it and uh, this was um, really special to me because it's where I'm from it is. <laughs> oh, that's amazing and and the fact that you guys would just say no, no problem we're packing up a van we're heading to you is is says a lot for the Humane Society I think so the Humane Society we are really big on saying we we love animals, we strive to help all the homeless pets in our community, but we are also really about helping people. We want to care for the people who love pets in our community and all over the world. The Humane Society doesn't want to have borders. We don't want to stay uh, just in our walls of our, of our shelter or of Tucson or of Arizona. And so when we got this desperate plea from um, Patty at the Valencia County Animal Shelter, we we wouldn't have been able to sleep at night if we would have told them no we can't come we said absolutely we packed up a van the very next day and we headed over to los lunas um it was it was amazing and i know you you're saying it was a, a desperate plea let's really kind of give an idea of why this was such a desperate plea so the valencia county animal shelter could house about 100 animals comfortably they were at <laughs> over 250 we walked into this shelter and, I mean, you guys saw the video, there were dogs in crates, there were six dogs in a kennel, and it was at no fault to the shelter. They're an open admission shelter. They bring in every single pet that comes in their doors. They don't have a choice. <laughs> and so we, we didn't want to say, oh, shame on you, you yeah. should do better. There was truly nothing that this shelter could do besides taking these animals and try to just figure it out. So that's when the plea came in, is that she, <laughs> the shelter director, she couldn't do anything but ask for help. She was physically herself driving 30 dogs to Utah, driving them to Montana, just doing whatever she could to get as many pets out of there as possible. And, and it, it, hi. And in this small community, it, it runs so much deeper um, than, uh, than just the shelter. It's people not spaying and neutering their pets. It's people not teaching the appropriate <laughs> not teaching uh, how appropriate it is to make sure your pets are altered, make sure they don't get loose, make sure that your pets come indoors, make sure that they're safe whenever the weather changes. It gets cold in New Mexico and, and dogs run away and it's really sad. And this shelter, they were just, I mean, just absolutely overrun. It was, it was one of the hardest things I've ever seen. We, it was a lot. <laughs> but you must feel so great knowing that you've helped all these wonderful animals. And I want to know, how many did you end up bringing back to Tucson? So we thought we could uh, get about 20 or so. And we ended up with 23. And we walked in, and some uh, rescues will only take certain dogs. And they were like, which, which dogs do you guys want to take? And we said, whatever. Give us anything. Give us any of your dogs. We'll take as many as we can back. So we got pit bull mixes. We got shaggy little mutts like this guy. We got... Um, animals who are overweight, dogs that would have actually like have literally no chance in that shelter to to escape the euthanasia list. Their their euthanasia numbers it was sometimes up to a dozen a day that this shelter supervisor was having to make this choice. A dozen dogs a day, and this community they I don't think that they had any idea that this was happening. And so when when we got that plea, we said you know we have to help and we have to just make this make this be 
be known that this yeah. is happening. It was horrible. And so now we have these 23 dogs here yes. at, um, at our shelter. And now we're in the process of getting them to a point where they'll be ready to be adopted. So they're not there yet, but we're, we're getting there. No, they're not there yet. But every dog, when they come into our shelter, they'll go through a quarantine mm -hmm. phase to make sure that they're healthy and adoptable. Um, and so that we're able to sort of evaluate them so we can find them their perfect forever home because yep. we want every adoption from the Humane Society to be forever. So um, these dogs aren't available yet. Yet, but I'm hoping that when they do become available that so many people know about this story that they are adopted within that same day so I want everybody in Tucson if they know someone from New Mexico or if they have a special yeah. tie from New Mexico or just love the Southwest want to rescue a really special dog to consider one of these New Mexico dogs because I mean they've they were truly rescued and uh, the Humane Society wouldn't be able to do it without our community so we want to say thank you because we wouldn't be here without the love and support of everyone and um, definitely the puppies wouldn't be here either. <laughs> well, I know Stewie's going to have a, a waiting list because uh, he's just so adorable. I want to thank you so much for coming on. Thank you to all, to tell everyone at the staff over at the shelter that we thank them for the, everything they did as well. Yes, absolutely. That's amazing. So to support actually the Valencia County Animal Shelter, contact Patty at 505-866-2479, extension 3. If you have any questions about the Humane Society, call 327-6088 or visit, of course, hssaz.org. And don't forget all also follow them on their Instagram page by searching for at Humane Society SOAZ.